Leash pulling is probably something almost every dog owner has struggled with or is struggling with now, but there are so many methods to work on it. Today I'm going to go over the tree method. All you're going to need is your usual leash and a harness or collar, whatever your dog wears normally, and make sure you watch until the end because I'll give an alternative method to this one as well. The tree method, or be a tree method, sounds weird, but it's actually super easy to implement, although it's not to say it's easy to train loose leash walking. It takes weeks of consistency and experimentation, but this method is a great place to start and one that worked really well with Mochi. To be clear, loose leash walking does not mean walking in a heel the entire time. It just means that there should never be tension in the leash, aka pulling. First, before you even think about starting to train, get your dog moving so he can get rid of any excess energy. You can play fetch for 5-10 to 10 minutes like we usually do, or you could just let your dog run around in your backyard off leash for a bit if you have one. To get started with the tree method, just start walking normally. As soon as your dog gets to the point of the leash where he is creating tension, aka pulling even the slightest, completely stop walking. It's called the tree method because you should become like a tree and just stand still. There are no needs for commands here, just stop walking. Your dog will likely look to you to see why you stopped. If your dog is fixated on something, this might take a little bit longer for him to turn around and look at you. Here in this clip of Mochi, you can see he's fixated on a dog ahead, so when I stop walking because he pulls, he doesn't immediately make eye contact with me. So I just simply stand still like a tree and wait for the eye contact. Again, there's no needs for words. As soon as your dog does make eye contact, mark the behavior with the clicker or saying your marker word, then reward your dog by luring him back towards you and you yourself taking a step backwards as you do so. Yes, good job, Mo. Free. I also want to note here that you might think that rewarding with a treat for pulling is counterproductive, and I also thought that at the beginning, but that's why marking the behavior is so important. We aren't rewarding for pulling, we're rewarding for eye contact. Also, treats will enforce your dog to stay closer to you and stop pulling ahead as time goes on and he gets used to it. Once you've rewarded your dog, give them an okay or whatever word you want to choose to release them and start walking forward again. Okay, good job, okay? It's important to note here that dogs love to keep moving forward. They don't like the whole stop, go back, and then keep going routine of this method. It's against their nature. So when you lure your dog back to give the reward, it's almost like a punishment to them. And then when you release them to keep walking forward, the reward is being able to continue the walk forward. So your dog will learn from this method that if he maintains a steadier pace, instead of always being go, go, go and pulling all the time, he can actually just keep walking forward without stopping, returning to you, and then continuing. If your dog pulls a lot, I would recommend dedicating one walk of your day to just training loose leash walking. If you use this method, you might end up walking only a total distance of 10 feet within 10 or 20 minutes, but it will all be worth it. Although the actual method is super easy to explain, there are some key points I want to make here. One is to again remain calm. Your dog feeds off your energy, so if you're speed walking and acting high energy in your walk, your dog will match that and likely start to pull more than if you were to walk at a slower and calm pace. Another key point is to limit the conversation with your dog. This sounds silly, but I noticed early on in my training with Mochi that I was talking to him, saying things like slow down or no pulling. Your dog has no idea what you're saying and instead this riles them up by feeding them a bunch of nonsense words. So do your best to be as silent as possible during training. Lastly, a really important thing to remember is that loose leash walking might be one of the hardest things to teach your dog, especially depending on the breed. If you have, for example, a husky, I can almost guarantee you it will be harder, much, much harder than training Mochi here, a border collie Aussie. But that doesn't mean it's impossible. Also, I really, really want to stress that loose leash walking is a far from a necessity. Recall is a necessity to teach a dog, but if you're fine with your dog pulling and your dog is just a household pet, not a service dog or anything, go right ahead as long as you can hold your dog back when necessary. Loose leash walking just makes walks more enjoyable for most owners, but again, it's personal preference. If you want another method I use to teach Mochi to walk nicely on the leash, which you can also try with just your normal leash and harness, check out the video linked here on the screen.